Hallelujah. You know, um, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today we were up at the hardware store and the Lord gave an opportunity to speak his word today, which was exciting. Hallelujah. And he always ordains appointments like that. But the man that uh, we were talking to, he's really an example of the church today because the church today has a lot of fear. That's right. A lot of fear That's about right. what's coming on the That's earth. Right. A lot of fear about, you know, and it even came out of his mouth, you know, that he's waking up in the night and he's fearful and he's like, what am I going to do? And this is a Christian now. And, you know, it was coming to me. Been a believer a long time, yeah, too. Yeah, long time. Yeah. And he helps people around here and just a really good man. And, um, you know, it was coming to me, though, because I know they watch TV. Uh. And the media promotes fear. They promote fear. And, you know, the Bible tells us not to let our eyes see that kind of stuff right. or even hear it. Isaiah 30, 33, 14. I'll read it. It talks about, and we forget this too, not only uh, do others not pay it mind, we forget as well sometimes. And, and I know the Lord is reminding us right now. And it says, verse 14 of Isaiah 33 says, The sinners in Zion are afraid. Mm. Fearfulness. The sinners right. are afraid. Right. Wow. Fearfulness has surprised the hypocrites. Who? Listen to that. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Read that again. Yeah. Fearfulness hath surprised the hypocrites, hypocrites and the actors. What is the first part of that again? Wow, the sinners in Zion are afraid. The sinners in Zion are afraid. Those who are rebelling against the call that they initially accepted. Or the fact of letting their minds be filled with all this fearful stuff from the media. Right. You know, like on the internet, listening, watching, 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 and listening to all these videos about what's coming and blah, this, Common blah, Ellen that, coming Ellen, the Bureau, Planet Planet you know, the blah. aliens, the Nephilim, just all this Blue stuff Bean constantly, Project, stuff, constantly, yeah. constantly. And what's that breeding? Fear. Wow. Fear. The sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness hath surprised the, the hypocrites. hypocrites. Wow. Who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Listen to this. Listen. Okay. Who among us, Holy Spirit speaking, shall dwell with the devouring fire? Who among us shall dwell with with everlasting burning. Here's the answer. Verse 15. Isaiah 33. He that walketh righteously and speaketh up rightly. He that despiseth the gain of oppressions. That word oppressions is deceits. He that despiseth the gain of oppressions, that shaketh his hands from holding of bribes, that stoppeth his ears from hearing of blood. Oh, I got a question. Are you stopping your ears from hearing of blood? Are you walking uprightly? Are we walking uprightly? Are we stopping our ears from hearing the blood? Hearing all of the stuff going on? Hearing all of the... Well, you know, this is the Word of God. I mean, what can you say? Right, it's the Word of the Lord. And I'm going to read that again, okay? Okay. The sinners in Zion are afraid. 
fearfulness, fearfulness, hath surprised the hypocrites. Who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burnings? He that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly, he that despiseth the gain of oppressions, that shaketh his hands from holding of bribes, that stoppeth his ears from hearing of blood, and shutteth his eyes from seeing evil. Those are the ones that will dwell. Right. It says, verse 16, He shall dwell on high. His place of defense shall be the munitions of rocks. Bread shall be given him. Hallelujah. His waters shall be sure. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's so the there's word. our answer, saints, right there in the That's word of the God. Word, man. That's the word, you know? So begin to ask God to help you to turn it off. Turn it off. Oh, if, or if you see it, you know. I know sometimes we check out news pages and we'll click on a video they'll have on there. And if I look at the title, you know, and if the title is offensive, I just click X out. I've X out many things I didn't want to see what they were. See? Because but but sometimes I don't exit out and I end up seeing it and it's funky, okay? And God doesn't want us to do that. He's gonna keep us. Right, it's destruction. And and it's the destruction of the wicked, yeah. you know. Well, Hallelujah. You know, uh, the Bible says that the destruction of the wicked is coming. And it is really basically happening every day. Amen. And God has taken his big broom, going across this nation and this world, and he is sweeping it clean. And as he does that, you're going to hear about stuff, okay? Right. And you might even see it in your own neighborhood. I, I think the scripture is speaking about, though, like a preconceived, like a pre, I'm going to go turn on the TV so I can see, see some blood. crap, you yeah. know. And, see, and, and, and yeah. it's where's our heart at, you know? Well, I mean, you know. what does he say? Separate yourself. Right. Separate yourself from the world and the things of the world. And you know, all this stuff going on and just the, just the fearfulness. You know, when I saw this little man today, I was like, Lord, in my heart, I was like, Lord, he's so afraid. We as children of God do not need to be afraid. Amen. At all. You know, uh, a little while ago, I don't remember when it was, the Lord gave me this song, do you? Oh, it was a couple of weeks back. Well, I asked the Lord to give me a song, and He did. He gave me this little song. And we want to sing it now, and you guys sing along too, because, you know, make this your song too, because the Lord is the one we are going to have to totally and completely depend on. Hallelujah. Completely depending on Him in this hour for our healing. Completely depending on Him for our deliverance. Hallelujah. To be our comforter. Thanks God. Thank you Lord. To be in thanksgiving. He says, Hallelujah. this is my will, that you give thanks in, in everything. Things. Hallelujah. That Praise scripture, what is it, Second Thessalonians? No, it's First Thessalonians 5, 18. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You know, the Lord is so rich. He's so rich. And yet he became poor so that we might be rich. Hallelujah. Rich in the spirit. Rich in the ways of God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise his holy name. It says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Now there's a song like that too. You want to sing that? In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in everything give thanks for this is the will of God for everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you Y'all sing it too. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in everything give thanks. For this is the will of God, and everything give 
thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Praise the Lord. And you know what? And you say everything. 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 In everything. In everything. In everything. In everything. In everything. Lord, Hello. in sorrow. In sorrow, give thanks. In death. Yes. Thank in you, in. Uh, because the death death is the doorway to life for those who are believers. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you know you, what, Lord. too? You know, um, <laughs> I tell you what, the Lord is very merciful to his children. And he's merciful for those coming in. But I know there is a line being crossed and there is a line being drawn that in this hour you better get right with God. Amen. Because you don't know at any hour right. when the Lord may come. And a friend of ours, you know, this is just an example. A friend of ours, her friend's nephew, just recently was in a car accident. 21 years old. Now you listen to me. 21 years old. In a car accident and got a fatal head injury was on a ventilator life support for a few days and there was no brain activity and they took him off. He's gone. That quick. Just that quick. And none of us know when our last day is. And you know, this song, I just really want you to sing it with us, you know. Because we need to thank the Lord in everything. Because there's going to be some really hard, bad times we're coming into. Hallelujah. And, you know, we can all be guilty of complaining in those times. And, and charging God in those times. Things that we should not do. We should be thanking God in the midst of everything. And we got to do it now. Right. Because when the times really come like they're going to be coming... We have to be able to do that right now. Hallelujah. And thank Him for it. Can and I, yeah, I want to say a little bit about that, okay, what you were talking about. Uh, it's like we don't want to charge God foolishly. We don't want to covet against okay. the Lord. Yeah, because He has a way. See, He had a way for Jesus. And He ordained every step for His Son. And He's ordained our steps. Except with us, he has not ordained sin. I'll say that over and over again. Or complaining. Or complaining. That's, Which is sin. That's right. And God Bow. has not ordained that. He has not ordered that for us. Mm -hmm. He's ordered for us to submit, mm -hmm. to surrender, and given us the grace to all do so. Things. All the power we need to be obedient to God. We have it, saints. We you have know, it, saints. You know, this is so important because in this time, you know, you're going to have the devil's voice. Coming at you oh, from that's all what, yeah, different me, directions, yeah, and you're yeah. going to hear his voice through people, right. and through some people right. that you thought were really the Lord's and your friends. And you know that's happened to us recently. Right. And it's it's like a, here you do, you feel like your friends, you feel like you know you help these people, and blah blah blah, and then they turn on you like a viper. Why? What we have found is why is because of jealousy. Because of jealousy of God's call on our life and because of how God's brought us, how He's protected provided, and provided. provided. And you know, I don't I don't get it and I don't understand it, but somehow that puts jealousy in people's hearts. Yeah. And I don't understand that. But you know, Sometimes you'll start feeling just like this slime, you know, in the spirit, and you're just like, where is this coming from, Father? Right. And then you pray, God, show me where this is coming right. from. Right. And then he does. He, he lets it come right out of the person's mouth. And maybe you're having some hard circumstances or something, and you're in ministry or whatever, and, and you, you sense this thing coming against that, coming against your life in all areas and you pray that God will reveal it I guarantee you he will reveal it even here recently with this 
man that we've been dealing with, he let it just come right out of his mouth. That he, he was basically praying that we would have to leave where we are. Basically, not God not providing right. the way and stuff. And I'm just like, man, I'm just amazed how God just lets it all come out because it's like, hey. And I gave the guy the scripture. What you have planned for us the Bible says it's going to happen to you. What That's you, right. What you've schemed for us, right. what you've planned for us, what you've tried to to hang us up on a noose like right. uh, Haman did, did with right. Mordecai. That's right. The Bible says That's going to happen to it's you. It's going to happen to you. Right. The ditch that you dig right. for, for God's us people. or right. anybody Any else in Any God's yeah. family. People that are coming against you, if, if they're doing something to try to come against you, scheming against you, lying against you, slandering against you, that's going to happen God. to them. Where to God, it says the ditch that they dig for you, what? They will fall into it they will do, You know, and and then you quote this word of God to people. and Quote the Holy King James Bible. <laughs> and or, then they'll say, you're cursing me. Right. No, you're cursing yourself. Okay? Because that's what the Word of God says. And I'm telling you, we know in our heart in this hour that God is taking care of business. And, you know, I want to get back to this song because it's so good and it's so important. It's a song that we need to sing every day, and I do sing it every day. You are my strength, Lord. You are my fortress, my strong tower. You're my joy, my peace, my hope. You are my shield, Lord. You're sh my shield. Hallelujah. You're my faith, and you're my belief. Hallelujah. And what? And I just want to thank, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. I just want to thank you, Lord. Brilliant. You are my provider, Lord. My provider. Yes, you are our provider, Lord. Hallelujah. You are our shepherd, Lord. Yes, our righteousness. Our righteousness. Our intercessor. Hallelujah. <laughs> He's our everything. He's the Lord of hosts. He's God Almighty. He's our forgiveness. He forgives us. Praise his holy name. You know what? He died for us. Do you thank him that he died for you? Yes, we do. Thank do you him. thank him that he gave thank his you, all Lord. Praise you, Father. for you? Oh, thank you. Do you thank him Hallelujah. that he never will leave or nor forsake Hallelujah. his people? Hallelujah. Yes, Father. Thank do you, you just Lord. thank him and thank him and oh, thank him? Gosh, yes, you yes, know, there's power thank in you, that. Lord. Thank you, Lord. There's power Hallelujah. in that. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, glory to his holy name. Thank you. 